if you're trying to download GarageBand here on your iPhone or your iPad, but when you search in the App Store, there is nothing there, in this video, I'm gonna explain why that's the case and give you some tips that may help you get it back. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music but without the ability to download GarageBand, you're not going to be creating much of anything, at least not with GarageBand. Here's the problem. This device at the moment is running iOS 12 and the problem is the new version of GarageBand only supports iOS 13. So if we search GarageBand here in the App Store, we are not going to get anything. We can't download the new version because it has features like file support and dark mode support that are not supported in iOS 12. So what can we do about it? Let's jump in and take a look at that now. So the first thing you can do is, if you have a device that supports iOS 13, you can update your operating system to the latest iOS 13, which at the moment is 13.1.2. Go into your settings there, request the update, and update your software. Now, you'll need to have at least an iPhone 6S or above, an iPad Air 2 or above, an iPad Mini 4 or above, or any iPad Pro. And if you want some more details, there's a video linked up the top there and in the description all about iOS 13 compatibility. And once you've installed iOS 13, all you need to do is go back to the App Store, search for GarageBand, and you'll be able to update to the latest version, which is version 2.3.8. If you have a device that is not iOS 13 compatible, what can you do? Well, if you've downloaded GarageBand before, I'm going to show you how you can actually jump in and download the last version that's going to be compatible with iOS 12, and we'll do that in just a moment. If you've never downloaded GarageBand before, you are a little bit out of luck, but there's a another workaround which I'll tell you about at the end which might be able to help you out. So what we're going to do here is tap on the App Store here, but instead of being in search, we're going to tap on the Today button over here on the left, and you'll be faced with this screen here. Now, what I want to do is actually tap on my face there or whatever logo you have there, and this will actually jump into my Apple account here in the App Store. Now, what you'll notice here is I have this purchased option here. If we tap on purchased, it takes us to another menu here, and then I can tap on my purchases, and this is going to actually jump us into this screen, which is the one that we want to get to, because this is every app we have ever purchased using this Apple account. So we can actually go in and re-download any of these. Now, instead of scrolling through there, we're actually going to search, so we'll tap in the top here. Let's type in GarageBand and find this app. And there we go, we only had to type G-A-R-A, -A. and now we can actually tap on this little cloud icon here, we're gonna tap that one, and what it will do, it'll go and tell us this, it'll say, download an older version, the current version requires iOS 13.0, but we can download the last compatible version, and this is exactly what we wanna do, we're gonna hit the download button there, and off it goes, it's gonna request the download, and GarageBand is successfully downloading on our device running iOS 12. And there you go, just a few minutes later, it is downloaded, ready to go. And if we go back to our home screen here, there it is. There's 17 updates of sound packs to download, but we're good to go. We can tap that and start using GarageBand. So that's fine if you've downloaded it before, but what if you've never downloaded GarageBand? Well, I've got one more tip that may help you out if that's the case. We're here in our app store again. We're just going to hit done there to go out of the purchases. What you can do is actually sign out of your Apple account and sign in as someone else. Now, this requires you to have a friend, a relative, a well-wisher, or a stranger on the street that has actually downloaded GarageBand before. So if we tap on my face here again, now down the bottom here, you'll notice this sign out option. So what we would need to do is tap on sign out, sign out of your Apple account, and then sign in as the other person's account. So you just log in as them. You'll just need their Apple ID and password. You can do it while they're there with you and then go to their purchases. And in their purchases, they should have GarageBand there. You just need to download it using that same method. Then come back to this screen, sign out as them, sign back in as you, and then you will have GarageBand down downloaded and able to be used on your device. Or you can do this the other way around. You can log in as you onto a device that does support iOS 13. So if you do have two devices and one supports iOS 13, simply log into that device, download the latest GarageBand that is compatible, come back to this device, and in your purchases, you should see GarageBand as the app. And even if you need to borrow someone else's newer iPhone or iPad, log into it and download it, then it's gonna forever be in your purchases and you're going to then be able to download it 
on any other device. So now that you've got GarageBand downloaded and installed, you probably want to know how to get the best out of it. So check out the two videos I have linked right down below here. And you can also subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the latest videos. I'll see you on the next one.